This is the CMC Markets Connect Volatility Report. So the US sugar contract continues to see elevated levels of price action. In addition to the suspension of exports from India, the market is now contending with news that harvests in Thailand are set to be hampered by dry weather. It's not all bad news, however, with yields out of Brazil looking robust, but prices are trading back at levels not seen for two months. One day vol stood at 58.4% against 40.33% for the month. There's a whole slew of competing fundamentals hitting natural gas prices right now, with deteriorating weather in the Gulf of Mexico, concerns over industrial action in Australia, and the fact that European supplies are set to remain finally balanced heading into winter, all being taken into account. However, Monday's early gains, which briefly drove prices to close on two-week highs, proved unsustainable, lifting one-day vol to 57.81% against 49.1% for the month. And at the stock-specific level, one clear standout was Canoe, the startup US-based EV company. There's no shortage of issues here. Only $60 million in the bank, an $80 million per quarter cash burn rate, and close on $3 billion worth of orders to fulfil. The company announced the appointment of a new CFO at the start of the week, leading the stock some 21% higher by the bell, although some gains ebbed away in after-hours trade. One day vol printed 264.72% against 170.36% for the month.